be all about how to get you that level 9 in GCSE science. and welcome back to another video on my channel if you're new here make sure to hit the thumbs up button subscribe to become a part of student life now I thought I'd just mention at the beginning that this is just going to be like general tips in regards to science simply because I haven't actually sat the 9 to 1 GCSE so I didn't think it would be fair for me to like give specific advice as I gave in like my English and maths video which you can watch if you click to the top right hand side of the screen now without further ado guys let's get into the video now my first piece of advice is actually specimen papers I know I've said it in like every advice video but specimen papers are so important particularly for science because apart from maths like science is the main subject where you need to bang past papers simply because by doing past papers when you see yourself getting like 80 90 percent it's going to like increase your confidence and stuff and it's actually going to motivate you to like practice more and stuff in order to gain like a better grade in general in your science GCSE but another key thing about practicing specimen papers during your exam practice for science is that if you do do bad and like this is where I'd say like start doing the past papers as soon as possible. If you do do bad, it's gonna motivate you to like try harder because like if you're getting thirty percent in your past papers, like you don't you don't want to be sitting your real exam on the same level as that. So you you're gonna be motivated to work even harder. One thing I just want to add in terms of like specimen papers, I know you're doing a new GCSE, so obviously the resources may be limited in some sense. So what you can actually do is like go to your teachers like. Ask them nicely in it, like don't go like hey, yo miss like <laughs> give me like a practice paper in it like ask nicely in it and like they will I'm pretty sure like they'll happily give you uh, or happily make you like another paper and stuff to practice for your exams. Now my second piece of advice is actually like a website that I'd highly highly recommend guys. It helped me so much last year. It's my GCSE science guys. I'll leave it in like the description below for those of you that are like interested in checking out the website. But what it is is basically gives you like videos and stuff of like one teacher that just explains like the whole course and like it's just so it's so useful like if if your parents have like money to spare and stuff to purchase it i know it's a bit late to be honest but if you're in 10 if you're in year 10 definitely think about purchasing it i know like it's expensive but like it is really really helpful one thing i want to say is that my friends some of my friends actually use this thing called free science lessons again i'll probably link it in the description below if you guys want to check it out but the key advantage of this website is Guys, it's, it's free, man. Like, guys, he doesn't like free stuff, man. Come on, he literally is free, so like, it's so useful. I think it's on YouTube. The reason why I actually prefer my GCSE science is because when you're on YouTube, like, it's so easy to get distracted. I mean, I'm a YouTuber, really, so I should know. I should know. Hey, good, hey, good joke, good joke. Hey, hey, don't watch that. But literally, like, the one dangerous, the one dangerous thing about um, free science lessons is that it's on YouTube, so like, it's really easy to get distracted. But they're very, very useful. Both of them, in the sense that they clearly go through like the whole course one thing i want to definitely recommend is whilst you're watching these videos yeah watch it once first like watch it once don't just like start making notes straight away watch it once understand the knowledge and then the second time you watch it then to then start to make notes but like be very careful because if you're watching it like 50 times before you start making notes like that <laughs> you're just procrastinating in it so like be very strict with yourself but definitely check out my gcse science and free science lessons i'll definitely leave that below guys so yeah now my third piece of advice guys my third piece of advice is actually to teach others and like especially in your friendship group because chances are you're gonna know stuff that your friends don't know and they're gonna know stuff that you don't know so like by working together and teaching each other you can actually like share the knowledge and like just de develop together you know what i'm saying like develop together so yeah definitely i definitely recommend teaching one another a quick story is that i actually have like a teacher and i think he'll, if he's watching this year he'll know he'll know who i'm talking about but he actually came into our english lesson last year and he was like I actually learned more like teaching English as opposed to I, I learned more teaching English than I ever did learning English in school. So it just goes to show that teaching is definitely more effective and like the most one of the most effective tools for like learning stuff because if you can't teach to someone else, chances are you don't know it. So <laughs> I definitely recommend teaching to your friends because it'll just help to consolidate that knowledge. But one thing I want to stress is like this needs to be done in advance. Like I'm not saying that it's too late if you're in year 11, but like sooner rather than later start like applying this technique because if you don't really want to be teaching your friends like two seconds before you go into your exam because that's gonna like that's just gonna make you like nervous and stuff so like definitely try doing it straight away i would i'm not gonna lie it's more it's probably more effective as you go along the course to be teaching each other because it does it does take quite a lot of time but it definitely is effective it definitely is effective guys now my fourth piece of 
Oh, maybe. Now, my fourth piece of advice for you guys that are learning GCSE science, preparing for, preparing for your exam, is to learn to make sure that you learn the specification thoroughly, and you go through like each checkpoint, like to make sure that you understand it fully. I won't lie guys, like personally, I was one of them people that just copied out the textbook like 50 times, I won't lie, but like, the reason why I'm suggesting this is because I got an A star, but like, my friends, they literally stuck to the syllabus, and they got pretty much the same grade, if not better than me, by simply sticking to the syllabus, and it's so much more time efficient to like follow the syllabus, because it teaches you exactly what you need to know for your exam, whereas, I'm not gonna lie, like, the textbook, especially those CGP guys, you know how they, they're like, you have that little man in the CGP guide, yeah? And you'll just be busting jokes here and there. Like, I don't care about your jokes, you feel me? I don't care, like, the book just likes to waffle a lot, whereas the specification is straight to the point. So definitely stick to that, because it's a lot more, it's a lot more time efficient. Especially for you guys in year 11 who probably have your exam in like under a month, so yeah, good luck. This is especially important for you guys that are doing the new specification, simply because like the, the specification in the syllabus, it tells you what you need to know, like, the books just waffle a lot, but the specification just tells you strictly what you need to know. This is actually one tip I definitely, I really recommend for maths, and I actually personally use for maths, and if you want to find out like the other tips and tips that I use to get a 9 in maths, then guys, just follow the link in the top right hand screen in the corner, of course. Now my fifth and final piece of advice guys, my fifth and final piece of advice is actually to like learn certain answers, especially for like the long answer questions, because you know some questions, they're just going to come up. Stuff like central nervous system, fractional distillation, they, they're going to come up, so you might as well learn them now. So like, me, I'm not saying like memorise the answers, but like, actually I, I, pretty much, I, I am saying memorise the answers, but like, make sure that you know like, for example, if it's a six mark question, know like the six points that you need to include in order to write it before you even like go into the exam for like all of the long answer things, because you might as well just prepare the you might as well just prepare for them because a lot of people actually fall down on the long answer questions and it helps so much and like take it from me because I I pattern long answer questions in it. Like it saves you so much time in the exam because if you're writing a six mark question within like three minutes simply because you know them already pretty much, it's just gonna help you so much because you can go, you can spend more time on the easier questions where you may have lost marks. And like it just because a lot of people they see like a six mark question and they think, oh damn, like it's getting serious, but like if six mark questions are your strong point, your whole GCSE experience for science is just going to be so much easier. So this is definitely like a key piece of advice I'd give to you. Generally, like in any subject in GCSE, just just try to focus on your weak points and turn them into your strong point because it just makes life so much easier. Do not avoid the long answer questions or like the long um, like digestive system, the long kind of processes because in GCSEs, I'm going to tell you like the stuff that you don't want to come up. It, it tends to come up guys, it tends to come up so <laughs> definitely try and like memorise and like understand as well, importantly understand, especially for you people that are taking science later on in like sixth form and stuff, try your best to understand it as well as memorise it, but yeah guys. That is the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'm sorry it wasn't like as specific as my English and maths video, it's simply because I haven't done the 9 to 1 GCSE, so I thought I'd just give like general advice and stuff and tips for science and how to get good grades in science in general. If it did help you out guys, make sure to drop a like, smash that subscribe button, share it with your, fr share it with your friends guys, I can't even speak, oh my god. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.